Hello and welcome. Today I'm unboxing the Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard Kit for February of 2024. This February kit is called Pop Flowers. The Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard Kits are one of the monthly subscription products. The kits are an amazing value and are packed full of card making supplies. When you subscribe to the kits on the Pink and Main website, it will be shipped around the 15th of the month, but you can still sign up and purchase through the end of the month unless it sells out. Your subscription will change to the next month's box on the 1st. An additional benefit of being a subscriber is that you receive 15% off other products in the store, which is awesome. But starting next month, the subscriber discount will change to 10% off. So if you've been thinking about subscribing, you'll wanna go ahead and join this month so you can take advantage of the higher discount. If you'd like to subscribe, I'll have a link down in the description box. This is an affiliate link, which means if you make a purchase, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. And this helps to support my channel. The kit includes a page that lists all of the contents along with the colors in the color palette. At the bottom, it shows the hashtag you can use if you wanna share your projects on social media. You can also search using this hashtag to see projects from others for additional card making inspiration. And on the other side, there are some card sketches to give you some additional ideas. The monthly subscription kit base price is $34.99, and an automatic shipping charge is added based on your location. This month's kit includes this beautiful blue foil cardstock, plus five sheets of 100 pound, 8.5 by 11 inch colored cardstock in salon pink, sunny sky, moss, street light, and construction, plus you get two sheets of white heavyweight ice rink cardstock. With each kit, you get a mesh zippered pouch that's big enough to hold your cardstock, and I love using them to store my projects. It includes this exclusive confetti mix that's great to use as embellishments or for making shaker cards. It has regular sequins and flower shaped sequins in all the different colors in the kit. It also comes with these sticky pearls, which is something new. They're also great for adding embellishments to your cards, and they come in different sizes and all of the beautiful colors in the kit. And this is the stamp set. It's called Take Care. It has some larger sentiments that say Happy Birthday, Thank You, Take Care, Happy Spring, Hello Friend, and I'm Here For You, and a few smaller sentiments, Congratulations, I Miss Your Smile and Thinking of You, plus it has the coordinating dies. There's also another large die set called Pop Flowers, and this is really unique. It has this wreath and this butterfly with flowers, but they don't get cut out completely. I'll have to show you how this works in a bit, but I'll show you the rest of the kit first. Then there's this large stencil that's also called Pop Flowers, and it's a layering stencil. So the top half allows you to stencil flowers onto an A2 panel, and then the bottom half allows you to stencil the leaves. I have to show you a few of the panels that I made with the stencil also when I'm done showing you the kit. And then this is the last item. This is the 6x6 paper pad called Pop Flowers. Let me cut up in the seal here. But what I love about the Pink and Main paper pads is that it's a heavier, heavier weight paper, more like cardstock. So this first one is pink with white flowers. Then there's construction orange checkered pattern, then this fun plaid. And then we've got a yellow checkered pattern on the back. Yellow flowers on a green background. A green checkered pattern on the back, another fun plaid, and then this is pink and it has a blue checkered pattern on the back, then another floral on an orange background and a darker blue checkered pattern. Then there's this tone on tone pattern with tiny butterflies. I know it's hard to see on camera. Um, not sure if me getting closer helped any, but um, there's a pink checkered pattern, another floral pattern, and then large dots on the back side in all the colors. And then there's the diagonal stripes with another tone on tone butterfly pattern. Let me turn it so you can see the butterflies. And then we've got another blue floral pattern, another fun plaid on the back. And then there's some stripes in different sizes and the different colors. And then we've got the tone on tone pink with butterflies, a lighter blue with uh, flowers on it, and then the tone on tone in the light green. And then we've got a chevron pattern in all the different colors, a darker blue with the butterflies, and then we are back to the beginning. So there are two of each design and there are 24 double-sided sheets in the paper pad. 
So now let me show you the pop-up flowers die set. I'm cutting these out of white cardstock, and since there are several small pieces that need to come out, I'm rubbing my Sizzix die brush over it to help remove all those tiny pieces, but as you can see, it doesn't cut out the butterfly or the wreath completely. Now it removes some of the parts so that you can place something behind it and see through it, and you can pop up the flowers. So I'm still removing some of the leaves on the wreath, but I wanted to show you how this works. And it will just give you some really cool dimension on your cards. And it's the same way with the butterfly down at the bottom. But I'll show you my cards in an upcoming video. So make sure you're a subscriber to my channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss that. So here I'm using the stencil to create a few floral backgrounds on some A2 panels. I really like using these paper pouncers. I know that Pink and Main had them in the store under Fun Finds on their website the last time I checked. But I will link it down below if they're still there. So once you have the flowers, you'll just shift the stencil up and then you can add the ink through the leaves. So here I'm just adding some green. Um, but I have sped this up quite a bit just so you can see how to use the stencil. And you'll also see me create a background with yellow flowers, also using the pouncers and I'll show you what I did to add a little bit of extra shine to that in my upcoming video. But I also share a blue flower background where I use the Pink and Main Mini Ergonomic Blending Brush and another blending brush from my stash. But it's really up to you on what you like to use for adding ink through your stencils. But I'm really excited to show you the cards I create with this kit in my upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already, and also subscribe to the Pink and Main YouTube channel for more card making inspiration. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. Head on over to the Pink and Main website to check out more of their subscription products. They have a foil of the month subscription kit and a stamp of the month subscription, along with coordinating dies. If you'd like to subscribe to any of the monthly kits, I'd love it if you would use my affiliate link below. These kits really are a wonderful value and you can make a bunch of cards with what's included. I would love it if you would leave me a comment to let me know you stopped by. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.